Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. So, for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what's in my makeup bag. Right now, I'm a mess. I don't really care right now, but it's been a while and I really need to get the hang into coming out with more videos. So yeah so for today's video again i'm going to be showing you guys what's in my makeup bag this is my everyday makeup some in some of my items in here is my everyday makeup my other items are just makeup artist essentials so yeah let's get right into the video so in case you guys don't know about this one this is the viral tiktok makeup bag but it's not really from tiktok i got it at walmart for twenty dollars which is not too bad all right so here i just have my elf power grip primer this is the blue one as you guys can see and i have the pink one which is the elf power grip primer four percent niacinamide or something like that i don't know how to say it so yeah so another thing i have on this section is i have two mascaras these are almost my everyday mascara i just tend to switch it up depends on my mood because one one i forgot which one but one of the mascaras does leave a lot of product onto my eyelashes and i don't really like it so i do tend to not use that one as much but i forgot which one it is because i haven't done my makeup in a while so yeah up next i do have my three makeup brushes this is what i use for my foundation my blush and my contour the i do have more brushes but they're up on my little thing right here so I tend to have these in there as well sometimes but yeah so up next i do have i have five sections most of four of these is just like my makeup artist essentials so i'm not gonna go over that if you guys want me to go over of what i have let me know in the comments down below and i'll show you guys all of my makeup that i have so yeah another two another product i have in my makeup bag obviously is my black eyeliner this is what i like to use for my under eye for my eyelid to have like a good i guess black eyeliner i don't know how to, i don't i don't know how to how it's i don't know how to how it's called so do not blame me on that up next, I do have my e.l.f. brow, I forgot the name of it, but this is what I use for my brows. This is my everyday use for my brows because I love how it looks. I love how it does my eyebrows look good. So yeah. Another thing I have is my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium sand. This is what I use every day as well as for the halo glow beauty wand contour in light medium this is what i use every day again this is what i use on special occasions this is my rare beauty mesmerize liquid high highlighter or luminizer yes in the shade oh well, yeah it's mesmerized so this is just something that i use whenever there's like parties or something like, i don't really like to use highlighter because it doesn't really match me only whenever i feel like it so yeah another thing i have is my rare beauty foundation in the shade 270 270 n that's my shade this is what i got shade matched at sephora me personally i feel like this isn't my shade because it does look like a little orangey on me but what can i say i already bought it so might as well just put good use to it another 
foundation that I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 222. This is my everyday foundation. This is what I tend to use all the time. I like how this looks on me. I like how my how good my makeup looks. So for a foundation that I use this is something i would recommend for you guys to get because it is a pretty good foundation me personally i don't know i don't know about you guys so another thing that i have and this is something that i use every day whenever i do my makeup is the nyx professional sweet cheek soft cheek tint blush mousse and this is in the shade coralicious this is by far the best blush that i have used so far Again, this is some this is my personal thoughts, I guess you can say. So I would recommend getting this because it does leave like a good blush. Like it gives you the perfect I guess shade, pigment, however you want to say it. So yeah, I do recommend getting this. I don't remember, I don't think I paid a full price for this because I did get it in one of the advent calendars I got so I'm not too sure how much that item is so if you guys are interested in any of this I am gonna go ahead and leave like prices on on how much each of the products that I have cost so in case you guys are interested on in getting them you can go ahead and I can give you a price like range of how much it was to see if you guys are interested on in getting. Another thing that I have is my e.l.f. Power Puff Sponge. I don't know how it's called, but obviously this is what I use to set my 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 face. Second to last thing that I have is my Beauty Creations Brow Setting Gel. This is what I use to set my eyebrows before I start shading them in i guess that's how you can say it does help me a lot what i what i tend to do is before i put my moisturizer no yeah before i put my moisturizer i go ahead and add this into my eyebrows i go ahead and put my no wait actually no i tend to put my moisturizer first then my brow gel from there as soon as like i have my moisturizer on my face it starts setting in a little bit I go on ahead and add my primer, let that sit, and then I start doing my eyebrows. Let me know if you guys, if I should do a video of me doing my makeup on how I do my makeup. Maybe. And I guess my final thing that I use, actually no, my moisturizer. Another thing that I use is my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. This was actually gifted to me, so I don't know where it's from. But I am going to try to look for the item. If I don't, I am so sorry. But this is the Translucent Extra Coverage Powder. This is by far the best powder I have ever used. This has left my face or like my makeup look so good. The only bad thing about it is that I'm pretty sure this is a little over a year old and I still have a lot. As you guys can tell, I don't really use, do my makeup that much. But yeah, another thing that I tend to have on my makeup bag, but I don't have it on there currently, is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream fragrance free this is my moisturizer this is what i use for my everyday makeup routine if not i tend to use this one the pond's 24 hour moisturizer this is pretty good because this is this just helps me because i have dry a lot, i have really bad dry, dry skin so i tend to use that but for the most part, I do end up using the e.l.f. one. But yeah. That is pretty much it. The rest of my makeup that I have in my bag, it is it is makeup that I don't really use. 
it's makeup that I have for whenever I start doing makeup for parties and all of that. So that is it for this video. I do thank you guys for watching, but I am going to go on ahead and list the prices on of the products that I have in case you guys tend to want to buy them. If you guys are interested on in getting them, but I believe that's it. So yeah, go ahead and like and subscribe and hopefully I get to see you guys another video. <laughs>